And I guess, Dr. Iwasaki, taking a look at your research that focuses on this immune defense, how can we understand how this is happening from a vaccine? Right, so we think there are a couple of different ways that long COVID is uh, happening. One is that there is a persistent virus replication or viral reservoir that is um, not detectable through the nasopharyngeal swab, but it's deep somewhere in the body that's causing chronic inflammation. So that's number one. Uh, the second possibility is that autoimmune responses are happening in long COVID, and that could also have um, long-term consequences, uh, inflammation and autoimmune disease. So the vaccine could be uh, making someone feel better because it's inducing robust antibody and T-cell response to get rid of the viral reservoir. And if that's the case, that will be a permanent cure. Um, and if it's the autoimmune disease that's causing disease in these patients, then the vaccine might for uh, some, some time period make some people feel better because it might reprogram this um, autoimmune cells uh, to avoid, for, to prevent them from secreting toxic substances, at least for some time period. And if that's the case, the kinds of therapy that we would think about would be to dampen the immune response and not uh, boost it. So it really depends on what is driving the disease. And uh, this study will begin to understand uh, which of these possible things are going on.